I have a question regarding oh, Judas Iscariot. About Judas. Judas yes. Iscariot. He was called to serve the Lord, but then later on, he delivered the Lord Jesus Christ. And in the Bible, it states that all who lose their life for the Lord Jesus Christ, for his sake, would be saved. And so I would like、What、to know. What happened to poor Judas Iscariot that was already prophesied in Psalms? In Psalms, we find that it says that the Lord Jesus Christ, everything that he did, his work, his duty, his ministry, all was planned from before the foundation of the world. And in Psalms, the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of King David and other people, spoke about Judas Iscariot. But spoke about everything that God was going to live, what he was going to suffer. When he would be preaching the gospel on the earth in Jerusalem specifically, that was already planned. And so we do not know why God chose this person. Surely Judas Iscariot came from a tribe in antiquity that God cursed because God cursed tribes. He cursed one of Noah's tribes. He said his generations would be cursed. And most likely, Judas came from that curse, from one of those tribes. And since he was going to be an evil person, since God already knows who's going to be good and who's going to be evil, who's going to have a rebellious and stubborn heart, who's not going to submit themselves to God, since he already knows everything, that is why God plans in the future many things for different people, men and women. To many, He plans blessings and to others punishment. And Judas Iscariot, in his plan, was to punish him because he came from rebellious and stubborn people who deserved punishment in their lives. That is why God planned what he did with Judas Iscariot. When this was fulfilled, the Lord Jesus Christ taught the apostles, saying, Everything is written. Read Psalms, the Lord would say. Read Psalms and the book of the prophets because there, everything is. That happens to me is written. Everything that will happen is all written. Everything is planned and it will be fulfilled. Everything was there so that people would believe that God does exist. And when God speaks, it is fulfilled because He exists, because the Lord knows and knew. That in the future there would be many nations, many people that do not believe in God. Today, there are many people that do not believe in God. There are countries where children are born without the idea of God. And God already knew all of this. That is why He placed this in His plan to manifest Himself and show humankind that He does exist. That is why He was there prophesying about the future so that when it was fulfilled, people would say, Yes, God exists. And here, It is being fulfilled what that prophet said about Jesus Christ that Judas betrayed Jesus Christ and sold him. But the Lord talking about the future that many things would happen, and when people are in that future, they're going to realize the fulfillment of everything so that people may believe that God exists because truly that is the objective. God's objective is for humankind and the world to believe in God, to know that He exists, and that is why He has planned from years ago many things to show them that He had said it, He had declared it, and that it was going to happen. And years go by, thousands of years go by, and things happen just as God has said it. Therefore, it was God's plan. Thank you.